This is the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. And welcome everybody to this episode of the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. I am your host, John Allen. You know, it's uh, been a while, but before I tell you why I've been absent for the last 21 days, I want to remind you people that um, your donations and contributions are not 100% necessary, but they are 100% greatly appreciated. If you look at the episode description, whether you're watching it on YouTube, whether you're listening on Spotify, Spotify, uh, iTunes, or Google Podcasts, wherever you're listening or watching, you'll see in the description a few links that you can click on if you would like to support my work here on the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. Now, a 21-day absence. Forgive me, listeners and viewers, for I have sinned. No, it's not that bad. Um, Why did I stop podcasting? I stopped podcasting because I started doing a few other things. I've been busy, very busy. Um, One thing I can announce, and you also find a link to this in the description below. uh, I started a comic strip um, three weeks ago. Does that kind of match maybe? I've been gone from podcasting for 21 days and 21 days ago, roughly, is when I started a comic strip. Yes, that's right. A comic strip. The name of that comic strip is Loyal Oak. You can find that on my website, uh, johnallenpod.com, J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com. And again, you'll find a link to that in the description below. Um, That comic strip is something that I've I've had this in the back of my mind for quite some time. Uh, I would have to go back to, now you guys know Tiffy. Uh, Tiffy has been uh, a guest and a uh, co-host on my podcast several times uh, up through the last couple of years. She was one of the first, I believe she was the second episode that I ever recorded. And since then she's been back four or five, maybe six times, both as a guest and as a guest host. Um, She is an incredible artist. Can I plug her again? Uh, she's an incredible artist. Uh, if you can find her work on my website, johnellenpod.com, go in the menu where it says Loyal Oak, and then you'll see Loyal Oak Artists. And then you'll see her name there, Tiffany Troutman or Tiffy as we call her. Uh, when I met her and I saw what a wonderful artist she was, it kind of triggered something. It, it, it inspired me. Let me fix the volume here. I think the volume's a little too loud. There we go. Uh, but Tiffy, in her artistic greatness, um, inspired me. And then another guest that I've had on the podcast, uh, Lexi, uh, or Alejandra Corin. Uh, she goes by Lexi. She's also been a guest three, three or four times. Uh, she, uh, I, I noticed that she's painting a lot. And then that inspired me. So um, you'll see, uh, you can judge uh, uh, the results of that inspiration yourselves. Go in and check out um, my comic strip, Loyal Oak. Um, So far, I've only introduced two characters uh, in this series. There'll be more characters showing up later on. But uh, I've introduced a character by the name of Cyrus Richmond, and another character by the name of Young B. So this has been um, interactions between Cyrus and Young B uh, in the most recent episode, which was released uh, on Sunday, today, uh, featured Cyrus Richmond alone. So check out that uh, check out that comic strip. I'm kind of proud of it. It's it's definitely fun to do. It's just another form of expression. Um, I say a lot of things that are on my heart and, and uh, uh, things that may not get said on the microphone, I can say it in that comic strip, Loyal Oak. Um, oh yeah, here's the big thing, another big thing. Um, kind of in conjunction with the release of the Loyal Oak comic strip, I've done a lot of work on my website. Um, I want to say thank you to Russell Morgan for helping me out. I am not a, uh, I am not a very capable man when it comes to such uh, uh, data-driven things, you know, computer work and website work and all that stuff. So thank you so much to Russell uh, 
for helping me out. Russell is actually the guy who did most of the work, just, in fact, all the work in originally setting up johnallenpod.com. So thank you, Russell. Um, so there's been a lot of work on that. Um, I've also been uh, writing a lot. Now, I've kind of hinted, I think I've said right out several times that I was working on a book project, but um, to tell it like it is, uh, that book project has been an off and on thing for years now, probably over 10 years. I've been starting and stopping and re-editing and throwing out and then starting over and then stopping and then editing and then starting all. This has been a process that's been going on, off and on, back and forth for probably 10 years. Well, now uh, I'm doing it for real. Uh, there will be a book coming uh, relatively soon, I'll tell you. I don't want to come with a release date yet, but I do want to tease you a little bit, kind of leave that dangling up there, uh, something for you people to look forward to. I hope you look forward to it. I hope you buy it when it comes out. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Here I am with dry mouth and I forgot to have my little container of water. Well, this is going to be a short episode. It's, uh, I'm going to just kind of, uh, talk about a couple of quick subjects here and then I'll be finished. So I will survive. Um, so yeah, the book is coming out. Um, there'll be some teasers. There'll be some media work around that. So you people will know, uh, when that book is coming out, you'll know well ahead of time when that book is coming out. So I'm asking ahead of time for your support in that little project. People write because they want others to read. So I'm hoping that the book takes off. Um, what else has been going on? Um, yes, uh, a lot of work with radio. Um, you people know I've been um, doing the radio version of this podcast. You know, this, the name of this podcast is the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. My radio program is Coming Home with John Allen. And um, that's been going since the 9th of October. Uh, and I had a great run. I had a lot of fun, but... Uh, as I wrote on my Facebook page, which you can find at John Allen Pod, that's at John Allen Pod on Facebook, uh, I wrote a post just before coming on the microphone here about um, I'm switching things up with the radio broadcast. Uh, I'm starting my own internet radio station. Of course, I do have a couple of, um, um, how do I put it? a couple of issues on the table, which may lead to me working at a different radio station. But until that happens, I'm planning on starting my own internet radio station. So there is a funding campaign that I've started for that. You can find a link to that uh, also in the bottom of this, uh, uh, in, the, in the description of this episode at the bottom. Um, and you can also... Uh, throw some cash that way. And this is a rather expensive endeavor. So it costs money uh, to start uh, to start my own internet radio station. But um, as the saying goes, come hell or high water, uh, there will be uh, a radio station. I'm going to do this. Uh, it's not a question. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a fact. <laughs> Something is going to come out of this in the form of a internet radio station. Um, that wasn't a very clear statement, but whatever. The, my point is, is I'm going to have an internet radio station. Um, again, there's also some other opportunities with a couple other radio stations, but regardless, I'm going to start my own internet radio station. So I'm asking for your support with that as well. <clears throat> just so you know that I don't just have my hand out, <laughs> you know, uh, asking for, for money to keep, you know, to, to me it's kind of embarrassing to to uh and, and it shouldn't be embarrassing because crowdfunding is i mean you have some of the top music acts uh in the world that uh fund their album production through crowdfunding so why can't i promote and fund my tiny little radio station and podcast through crowdfunding i shouldn't feel embarrassed by that but um but i do but uh just so you know that um I'm not 100% dependent on the donations of others, but it certainly will help. So if you can help, if you can contribute, uh, do that. There's also some incentives or, or benefits to contributing. If you click on the link, 
um, you'll see uh, if you donate or contribute a certain amount, you get something in return. Uh, so that's my point. I'm not just sitting here with my hand out. I'm, I'm, I'm giving back, and that's what I will continue to do uh, regardless because I love podcasting. I fell in love with radio broadcasting, and I'm going to continue doing both uh, while at the same time <laughs> producing a, um, a comic strip and writing a book. Sometimes I get tired. Um, another thing coming up, and you can also see this on Facebook. Uh, again, you'll find me on Facebook at John Allen pod. Uh, I'm also on Instagram at John Allen pod. And on Facebook, I'm doing a uh, Facebook paid live event coming up on the 10th of February at 8 p.m. Norway time. That would be 2 p.m. on the East Coast in the USA. Uh, February 10th, go to my Facebook page and click in there and uh, join up on that event. Uh, it only costs five dollars. Uh, um and you'll get something out of it. I'm going to speak about uh, how to deal with pain and still keep going. Now, that could be a long and interesting podcast episode, but um, I'm saving it for the live event, the paid live event on Facebook. Um, so I ask you to uh, jump in there. Um, click on the uh, that, uh, that event announcement, it's uh, pinned to the top of my Facebook page. Jump in there, uh, sign yourself up, throw in $5, and uh, get ready. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing these things um, in an effort to give back, in an effort to share um, what I've learned. I've learned a lot. Um, unfortunately, I've learned a lot about uh, dealing with pain, physical, emotional pain, but still keep going. Um, pain is out there. Physical pain is out there. Emotional pain is out there. The question is, is what do you do with it or what does it do to you, for you, or against you? So, um, again, I'm going to save it all for, uh, for that live event, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have fun. Um, so that also, all of these things I'm talking about have contributed to my absence uh, from podcasting uh, these past 21 days. However, um, it's slightly misleading if I say that I've been gone from podcasting for 21 days because I have recorded three. This is actually the fourth episode now that I've recorded in those 21 days. Um, so you could say I have, uh, um, you know, this one's going to go out right away this evening. Um, but you can say I have three episodes in the vault uh, three great episodes, one, uh, with a musician. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. One with a musician who, uh, performed live one with a, another gentleman who is uh, working on a book. He's a very interesting, uh, American in Norway who's had, um, quite the journey. He's lived quite the life yeah, originally from my home state of Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio is where he's from. Uh, I'm way out in the, I'm from way out in the boonies out in the sticks there, but he's from Cleveland, uh, but he's here in Norway now. Um, and the other episode, ah, yes, with another American in Norway who also has a very interesting story. So there's three episodes in the vault. Um, uh, but like I said, I've been busy with these other things. I've prior prioritized those other things, uh, that I mentioned. And even though the episodes are recorded, you know, they take the time it takes for me to speak with my guest, you know, an hour or two or sometimes three, but it's the post production work that takes time. So I've just kind of willfully laid that to the side um, and really leaned into these other little, uh, I don't want to call them side projects and I don't want to call them little projects. Let's just say to these, in, I've leaned into these other projects and given them the time that I've needed to give them to uh, get them started and get them, get some momentum in those projects. And to be honest, it was nice to, um, step back from all that post-production work. Uh, but again, I did record those episodes, so I, I, I keep my conversation game up. Um, uh, podcasting is a lot of fun. Being on the microphone is a lot of fun. And like I said, I really fell in love with radio broadcasting. Um, I just found that 
something was missing, and I think it was the respect for my art. Now, I'm going to be careful here because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I just felt like my art and my contributions weren't being respected as they should, and I think I will be, um, I'll be a better radio broadcaster um, when I am doing that broadcasting from my own platform. So thus comes the idea to start my own internet radio station. So hopefully the funding goes well for that. Um, uh, my wife suggested that I uh, uh, get into naked mud wrestling for money. Uh, I don't know, it sounds like only fans to me, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how the funding goes. Um, and I'll keep you people updated on uh, what's going on with that. Um, Black History Month is coming up. Now, I kind of got a head start on Black History Month. Uh, here's a teaser for my Loyal Oak comic strip. Again, go in on my website, johnallenpod.com, J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com. Go in there, uh, go up on the menu under Loyal Oak, and then you'll see Loyal Oak, the comic strip. Go in there, uh, check out each week's um, uh, strip. It's a weekly strip. I, I put it out on Sundays. Uh, that's what I've done so far. I guess I'll just continue with Sundays. But so far, it's it's once a week. Uh, so there's three three strips that have come out uh, so far. And I kind of got a head start on Black History Month with that Loyal Oak strip. I'm not going to say too much. I want you to just go in and check it out. Um, yeah. Uh, when it comes to Black History Month... I'm going to put a challenge out there. Uh, I'm going to ask people um, to not cherry pick black history. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, first of all, I want to say black history is American history. Is black history is American history is black history. Do you get what I'm saying? We can't talk about American history without talking about the black people who contributed to that history. Um, and another thing is black history is not just slavery. Slavery is an element of black history, but the, the lifeline, if you will, of black Africans in North America, the United States in this case, um, uh, is not just slavery. It's not exclusively slavery. There is so much more uh, when it comes to contributions, uh, uh, how uh, history was affected by those contributions from black Americans. Um, it, it, it eclipses that uh, slavery thing, which everyone seems to focus on. It's quite the frustrating thing uh, when I look at our educators uh, here in Norway, uh, anyway, <clears throat> when they talk about black history, they seem to talk exclusively of slavery and how Martin Luther King was killed. Uh, th they do talk about other things that have to do with Martin Luther King, you know, his, you know, the civil rights struggle and whatnot. But the focus is, uh, is on that Martin Luther King was killed and black people were slaves. And to me, that's cherry picking. Uh, you're taking the things that are maybe the easiest to talk about, uh, the juiciest things. Or could it be that there are some people who see a benefit to narrowing black history down to just the issue of slavery? Um, when you see the socio-political situation in the United States now, I tend to think that, yes, there are some people who benefit from that particular uh, aspect of um, black history being um, uh, expanded to, you know, as a representation of, of, of the say all, be all, do all of black American history. But again, we are so much more than uh, former slaves. Um, I can speak for myself. Uh, no, I can actually speak for just about every black American I know. We are so much more than former slaves, just like white Americans are so much more than former slave owners. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Black American history is American history is black history is American history and so on. It's, I could just keep saying that it's intertwined. And I will say further that I believe it's a sad thing that black history is relegated to just one month 
of the year in the United States. To me, that's ridiculous, uh, borderline insulting. Um, but <laughs> I digress. I don't want this to be that kind of a podcast episode. Um, basically, I just wanted to touch base with you people. I wanted to explain my absence. Uh, there was nothing negative at all in me being absent. I chose to focus on these new uh, aspects of my brand, if you will. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having more fun than I ever thought possible doing the things that I do. And I want to give a sincere thank you to every one of you who watch and or listen to this podcast. Um, I get emotional when I think of it. Um, to think that I started out doing this because I was depressed after the death of my son. And I thought I was going to just do this to kind of fill the time and kind of search for something new to do to lift me out of that depression, you know, to kind of soften that loss. And and it's turned into so much more than that. It's a platform from which I have been able to give so much back to people uh, through these conversations that I have with my guests, sometimes through the monologues that I have on my own. Um, you know, when I get these messages from people, this feedback from people that I truly uh, appreciate uh, when you guys do that, by the way, when you give me feedback. Um, but when I get that feedback and you're telling me what this guest did for you, uh, just by you hearing me speak with them, that's incredibly touching. It's incredibly humbling. And it makes me take my platform uh, quite serious. Um, you know, I do have fun. You know, I can, I can get silly with Snoopy, you know, when she's on, for example. Um, or if I have one of my stand-up comedian friends. Um, but e even while I'm having fun, underneath that is the realization that this platform means something, not just to me, but to others. And that's incredibly humbling. So thank you all so much uh, for your support so far. Again, check the links in the description of this episode. You'll see where you can contribute to uh, my ventures, past, present, and future. Um... What can I say? Thank you all so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye.